Well, hello everybody, Flying Scorpion here, and here's a quick update video for my uh, Freeze Battle Mage character. Uh, not much has changed really, except I have a Headhunter now. In my last video, I said I'm really excited to share with you guys. Let me get the light here. Really excited to share with you guys this character that I've been working on in collaboration with one of my guild mates. That character's not good. <laughs> so. Yeah, um, I ended up taking the Headhunter off of that character, slapping it onto this character. I made an adjustment to the amulet to get one that has more resistances on it. And <clears throat> not much has changed. Same skill tree. Character does fine. Character crushes tier 16 maps and uh, logbooks. Let me just grab a map real quick. I don't want to slap a logbook in there. Um, sure. Let's just put a white map in there. We're not going to do anything insane oh got that new uh, portal effect i forgot all right so the character is hella fast absolutely crushes packs really strong in supporting teammates uh with the headhunter now and with glacial hammer um you get the killing blow very often on the enemies that you attack I wonder how this footage is going to look after it gets uploaded to YouTube, because YouTube has a pretty aggressive compression algorithm, which really uh, muddies up the details. But yeah, for general mapping, <clears throat> for heists, for grand heists, for breaches, for expeditions, rituals, uh, and hopefully ultimatums get put back into the game, for all of that content, um, most enemies are not immune to freeze and they get blown up pretty quickly this enemy is not immune to freeze and oh there's an arctic golem not immune to freeze no problem the big issue with the build is fighting bosses it's always been fighting bosses <coughs> it's still a problem uh here we go here's a boss right now look at all those power and frenzy charges that is beautiful So, we don't even have to attack. You know what's great is that just the Hydrosphere and the, um, oh, Awakened Skill Gem leveled up. That's nice. Just the Hydrosphere and the Totem itself does enough damage. Now, this guy, even when he's frozen, he still is able to cast a spell. See that red circle on the ground? Got to avoid that. That is spell-based physical damage, and it's dangerous. Uh, against this character Now you can see it's taking me a while to kill this guy. It's not like it takes a terribly long time uh, But when you get into like some of the we just kill him before he spells cast a spell there we go But when you get like difficult map mobs like mods like the boss has 30% more life and they have more resistances and the maven shows up and starts healing them and stuff like that it takes a while when you do maven invitations with like 10 map bosses this character really struggles for that it's not a character i'd use against cirrus or the shaper or maven invitations and things like that and so what i'd like to do next is make a character that is a little more well-rounded can handle doing maps at a reasonable speed. I don't mind sacrificing map clear. Like this is faster than what I need for a character to feel good. I mean, obviously slower than this is not gonna feel as good as this, but this is more than fast enough I for myself anyways, for clearing maps. Um, it's just that this character really blows against fighting Cirrus, for example. Uh, so, I'll talk about the other character real quick here that I was working on, uh, and the mistake that I made with the character. So, don't have the Headhunter, it's on the other character now. I own three Expeditions Zen that are all six link now. I was using Brain Rattler, because it converts 50% of your physical damage into lightning damage, and it allows you to shock enemies for 300%. Uh, more than the damage you did. It's kind of hard to explain that. Shock enemies as though dealing 300% more damage. You combine that with these gloves and you deal non-damaging ailments as if you dealt almost 200% more damage. <clears throat> that turns into a huge multiplier on your shock and on your freeze with Expedition's End because shocking the enemies makes them take 50% increased damage, which then leads to bigger freezes and bigger shocks and 
I was using this with Heavy Strike, which with the right uh, threshold jewels has like a 60-65% increased chance or chance to deal double damage. Then you use Ruthless Blow. Where is it? Or it's on here. Ruthless Support. Every third hit deals like double damage. Well, 100% more damage. And then uh, <clears throat> every once in a while, the Ruthless Blow and the double damage blow will line up together and you'll get this like huge hit. And as long as you're getting this massive hit once every two seconds, you will keep um, even the tankiest of enemies shocked up to like 50% shock. Here's where I made a huge mistake. I completely forgot and, and overlooked the fact that the Pain Seeker gloves have a line of text that says inflict non-damaging ailments. Oh, oh, sorry. Critical strikes do not inherently apply non-damaging ailments. And that was my big mistake. I scaled crit with this character um, and now the character is doesn't freeze or shock things consistently also the survivability on this character doesn't feel particularly great with the freeze battle mage <clears throat> we actually pick up a lot of defensive keystones those actually really help a lot and we have hydrosphere which we can just cast way ahead of us like all the way to the edge of the screen and freeze things that are like off screen away from us very easily Whereas this character doesn't have the ability to do that. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, I don't... Th this character, I think, is kind of a dead character now. It can, it can run stuff. Um, let me just do run off to... I could run a map for you, but it's going to be the same as if I went to the Blood Aqueducts. And I don't want to spend a whole lot of time... Where are the Blood Aqueducts? Right here. here. Just run to the Blood Aqueducts. I'll show you real quick um, how this character plays. It's not like it's terrible. But it's not as good as the Freeze Battle Mage. One shot's packs. It, it definitely feels satisfying. It's a, And I get all the charges. Frenzy, Power Charges, Endurance Charges. So it's kind of similar to the Freeze Battle Mage in that it has a pretty reasonable clear. I might keep playing with this character, but I don't intend to because of the major oversight and mistake that I made in building it. Look at all those charges, though. That that feels really nice. Okay. How am I getting that? I think I grabbed somewhere in here. Every time you kill an enemy, you get power, frenzy, and endurance charges. I don't remember where I grabbed that from. No, it's when I get hit. When I get hit, I generate uh, charges, uh, endurance charges. Anyway, it's a pretty cool character. Um, it has the ability to be a reasonable support character. Because you can shock the enemies and you multiply everybody's damage and you freeze the enemies. But it's been really inconsistent <laughs> on bosses in particular. The bosses will not be permanently frozen and then they start moving around. And then this character doesn't survive very well when that happens. It's just, it's not great. So, uh, yeah, that, anyway, that's the update. That's what I've been up to in Path of Exile. I uh, hope that you're all having fun with whatever game that you're playing. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.